everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, I hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, evening, overnight, morning, whatever you've got going on. I hope you're having a good one. Uh, thank you so much for checking out this video and stopping by. We have a little, you know, kind of special edition or bonus unboxing um, and you might be able to tell from the sticker, maybe not. Um, this is from uh, Mary Making Crafts. So this is my second order, second order, I think, um, from Mary Making Crafts, maybe third order. I think it's one of those. It's either my second or third. <laughs> Um, uh, Mary is one of my crafty pals and she has an Etsy shop where she has, um, cover minders and putty and, um, just, a, just some fun stuff over there. So, um, I placed my most recent order and it just got here. So I figured I'd take a little lunch break from work and do this really quick unboxing. Um, Apollo just had his lunch, so he is sniffing around <laughs> looking for more. Um, is he going to plop down? Oh, he did. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and, you know, take a look. We're going to go ahead and crack this open. I had it um, facing down that way. You didn't see addresses and stuff. I'm just going to slice this with my scissors. Okay, hopefully I didn't cut anything by accident. All right, so let me make sure that we don't have... We do. Just take the invoice out, personal info out. Okay, so we're just going to kind of eh, 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 slide all this stuff off. Okay, cool. All right. Um, we have a little note here. Thank you for supporting my small uh, shop. Your purchase just allows me to continue crafting and sharing affordable accessories with the diamond painting community. Love your order, write a review. There's a QR code um, where she has an instructional video on how to use her putties, all of that good stuff. So that's all there for us. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. So yeah, I have been um, kind of a putty fiend recently. I've been, I use putty in both my single and multi-placer a lot of times. I still use pink wax. I still use glue dots, but I have been using a lot of putties. Let's see what else we get in here. And from a lot of different, um, different small shops, companies, and I like some for certain things, some for other things. Um, we've got some candy here, Skittles, and what kind of Tootsie, green apple, interesting, <laughs> green apple uh, Tootsie Roll. We've also got some stickers here, oh, how cute, oh, mermaid, oh no, <laughs> it's a mac and cheese sticker, oh my gosh. Um, and then we also have a little sample from um, from Diamond Painting with Sparklers, DP with Sparklers, and Tima. We have some frost drills and then a coupon code. So awesome. Uh, so yeah, I really like uh, Mary's uh, putty, which is called Mary Mud. It's a little bit more stiff or like dense than other putties, um, you know, kind of in the, the scheme of putties. And which really works for me in my single placer since I'm a pretty heavy placer. So I don't really get any stringiness. It lasts a nice long time and the scents are fantastic. So I really like it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and crack into kind of the main event here. I guess we'll save. We'll go ahead and do these first. We've got some uh, cover minders here. Are you ready for this? I'm so excited. <laughs> This one is, are you for real? <laughs> I saw that and was like, done. And then there's a dumpster fire one. <laughs> How cool. Oh, I am so excited for these cover reminders. So it's like, I can't wait to start putting them on my canvases and doing photos and stuff. Um, I got this little um, goldfish in a bag. This is one of the first cover minders that she came out with, but I just loved the look of it. I thought it was really unique and it sold out the first time. So when I saw them restock, I was into it. So yeah, it's just like a goldfish in a bag. And then this is, these are the ones I'm most excited about. Okay, so we have, and this is something that I asked her to do and she actually did it and put them on the, on the shop. I was shocked that she actually did it. These are little dim sum chicken feet cover reminders. Ah! <laughs> How freaking cute is that? Oh my goodness. Let's take one of them out. I got, 
um, one for myself and then Mary sent me the second one just as like a thank you. Um, and I'm going to give that one to my mom as a, refri a refrigerator magnet. But oh my gosh, it's even got the little like plate within the, the little basket, the steam basket. Oh my gosh, <laughs> little chicken feet. Oh, Mary, <laughs> this is, that's probably my favorite diamond painting accessory I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, how cute. Yeah, I asked her, I was like, oh, can you do dim sum or something? And she's like, let me do some research and see what I can find. And then lo and behold, she's like, look what came in the mail. And I was like, gasping. <laughs> okay, so now these are our putties. So I'm super excited. We've got quite a few here. I missed one of her, her launches, like one or two weeks of her launches. And then um, this past one, she kind of uh, did some restocks of some scents and then brought out some new ones. So I got quite a few. So they last a super long time. So I definitely am officially in like collector mode with these putties. But, um, but every time I open them, they still have plenty of scent. Um, some of them, or most of them, have colors to them. I think they all have colors to them. And so um, they're just kind of nice to look at. So I have them flipped upside down. I don't know what any of these are. Let's go ahead and crack this open, too. Oh, whoops, never mind. Hold on. So these are all the putties I ordered, and then I forgot I got one other thing. So let's go ahead and just grab and flip. This is Pistachio Latte Mary Mud. Let's go ahead and take a look at the colors and the scent. Da, 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 da. So far, my favorite scent from hers is a draw between, There's there was one called Cozy Cashmere that smelled really good, and then she, um, I was just working with Pomegranate Cider last night, and that was also really good. Okay, so here's Pistachio Latte. Oh, I can already smell it. So it's got that kind of green color with the brown for the latte and the pistachio, and ooh, that smells good. It smells like, um like some kind of like candle scent. It's got like honey, kind of honey vibes. There's a little bit of nuttiness to it, but it's got a like a honey scent to it. Not really, I'm not getting coffee. It's like a sweet, sweet latte, pistachio latte. So there's that. And then let's just go down the line, flip. Plum blush, interesting. I kind of just picked, um, I kind of just got all the new ones. There was a couple that I didn't get, but I got the majority of them were new ones. Uh, let's open package. Oh my goodness. You can do it. Open, 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 open. What was that? Was that TJ Maxx that used to have that commercial? Open, open, open. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Getting, opening up the little foil piece can sometimes be eh, not the easiest thing. Though. Okay, there we go. Oh my word. Okay, so this is Plum Blush. So let's take a look at the color here. So it's just kind of a pinkish purpley color. Ooh, that smells nice. It reminds me of like a body wash, like a floral, fruity kind of body wash. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I kind of just grab the putties when I'm work when I go to like start diamond painting. I'll just grab one out of my little putty drawer or like putty caddy. I just grab them at random. Like I don't really um I don't really pay attention to the scent. I just snag it and then give it a shot. Okay, so next one is boop, fierce Mary Mud. I love that she put little abs on the cologne bottle. So Fierce is uh, the signature cologne from Abercrombie & Fitch. And I, little known fact maybe, I used to work at Abercrombie through college. <laughs> or I guess it was the summer after my senior year and then the first like year and a half of college. So I'm very familiar with this scent. It's probably gonna give me flashbacks. <laughs> okay. So it's got just kind of that grayish, it almost kind of has like a sweater look to it, like a knit look. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. You know what though? It's not quite as masculine as the actual fierce or like there's a little hit of like a brighter perfumey kind of note to this. 
it's a it's kind of like fierce but it's not exactly fierce has a little bit more of a muskiness this has like a light a lighter kind of hit it's it's there but not exactly and i was also expecting it to be really overpowering because <laughs> when we worked at abercrombie they had bottles of fierce it was like um they weren't like the retail bottles they just came in these like almost like pallets these like flat boxes filled with these bottles of cologne that didn't have any labels on it and we'd have to go through several times a day and spray all of the what they called forms are essentially mannequins so like three times during our shift we'd have to go through with one bottle of cologne in each hand and just walk around the store just spraying the heck out of all of the mannequins to keep the scent going um and then at a certain point they switched to it being um, fed through, like there was like a system. Um, certain stores had a system that like automatically sprayed it. But at our store, we had to do it by hand, which was fun, especially when you accidentally dropped a bottle. <laughs> okay, moving on. We can talk about my Abercrombie days another time. Okay, uh, ready, flip. Marshmallow Fireside. I was so excited for this scent, um, but it ended up getting released on a day that I went up to the mountains and didn't have service. And I ended up just like, you know, saying, forget about it. And then I was talking to Mary and she she's like, are there any scents that you uh, would want to be restocked? And I was like, oh my gosh, if you could manage making another batch of Marshmallow Fireside. And she's like, actually, I can do that for you. So, yay. Oh my gosh, yes. So it's just got that kind of orangey look. Oh my gosh, it smells exactly like you want it to. It's kind of like campfire, but there's like a sweet vanilla hit to it. Oops. Come on, camera. There you go. Oh my goodness. Yay! Okay, that is really good. I can't wait to start using that one. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. All right. Next up we have, I honestly don't even remember. Boop. Watermelon lemonade. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, let's see. Watermelon Lemonade. I wonder what color this is going to be. Yeah. Oh, I can already smell that. It smells like, um, it smells like, uh, like berry lemonade Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh, how cute. It's got the stripes. Awesome. Mmm, that smells good. Yep, it smells, uh, it smells like, um, kind of like a watermelon, um, or like a lemonade kind of candy or bubble gum. Ooh, that smells really good. That's going to be a nice one to use during the summer. Okay, and then our last one is... Flip! Jasmine. I for totally forgot I ordered this one. But I like some florally scents, so we'll see. I'm not like in love with all of them, but this one had me curious. Our color is just a really light light green. Oh, that is nice. Oh my gosh. Definitely a florally, but it's got like a fresh kind of clean green kind of florally scent. Ooh, that's nice. Sometimes I don't do well with stuff that's like potpourri scented or like that kind of powdery floral, if that makes any sense. Okay, so um, those were our putties. So we had six putties. We've got our cover binders. The last thing that I ordered is a mystery kit or a mystery set. So um, Mary does these once a month. So you get a mystery cover binder and putty combo. And I um, was already given the permission to, um, to go ahead and reveal this. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I'm not sure if there's any more in stock, but if you don't want to be spoiled for January's um, January's mystery set, then you might want to skip this part. But we're going to go ahead and open it. I got explicit permission to reveal the mystery, so let's go ahead and tear into it. Once again, I kind of forgot this was in here until I pulled it out. I thought it was like another set of putties. Are we ready? Are we ready to reveal the mystery? There we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Look, it's two cover minders. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, so we'll look at the putty in a second. It's two cover minders. It's the little cow's head and then the little cow's butt. Wow, that's a good deal to get two cover minders. How cute is this gonna be on a single, like on a single canvas with the with the cover paper to have? <laughs> these are really cute. Oh, I love them. And these are like nice, strong magnets too, which is great. Awesome. How cute. Oh my goodness. I kind of just want to leave them here. Boop. Boop. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then we have our putty, and usually it's themed, and there's, you know, it's a matching scent. So we have, floop, sweet milk, Mary Mud. Oh, it's got the little cow on it. Oh my goodness. Let's give this a hoyoth. Okay. Okay, got it? Okay, perfect. <gasps> no way. <laughs> it's cow print mud. <laughs> Ooh, that has like a, it's like a, a light vanilla, kind of. Hmm. I guess it has a little bit of a milky scent too, but it almost has like a, a slight rose. Interesting. Sweet milk. I love the cow print. Oh, Mary, these are so cool. <laughs> Look, oh my goodness. How cute is that going to be? Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Um, okay, so there you have it. There is my order from Mary Making Crafts. Um, Mary was so kind to um, ask if I would be interested in having a little discount code through her shop. And I was like, you know, why not? That's awesome. So if you decide to pop over to um, Mary Making Crafts, I will put the link in the description box and use the promo code SINGLE10. You'll get 10% off of um, your purchases over at Mary Making Crafts. And that's not for first time orders. That's Anytime you stop over there and make a purchase, you can use that code any old time and it'll get you 10% off your items. But these are so cool. I love the two for one um, cover minders here and my chicken feet. Oh my goodness. And the dumpster fire and the pho. Um, if she can keep making me um, dim, various dim sum <laughs> cover minders, like some bao buns and some uh, shu mai. Oh my god, that'd be so awesome. And we have our seven different scents here. Sweet milk, jasmine, watermelon lemonade, marshmallow fireside, fierce, plum blush, and pistachio latte. Um, the scents do sell out um, not, not incredibly fast. It's not, um, she does her launches it varies, but um, typically I've seen her do her launches on, um, is it Saturdays? Yes. But you can just check the site, keep an eye on the site, um, go to check out her channel. I'll link that as well. You can also reach out to her over on Instagram just to get the, the latest updates. But, um, but I do suggest if you see a scent there that you like, snag it because throughout the week they do sell down and she doesn't restock every single scent every single time. She's releasing a lot of different scents um so far gosh i don't even know how many scents let's see i've got i've got one two three uh four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i have 15 plus these seven so far different scents so there's lots of new scents coming out every single week. She doesn't restock every single one, like I said. So if you do see one that really speaks to you or you want to give it a shot, I say um, go for it. They're really nice uh, putties that, like I said, they work well for heavy placers, but they also do well in my multi-placer too, which is nice, um, uh, as well as the single placer. So um, what else? Okay, so Mary also has sample sizes. This is not directly from her shop, but this is a sample that I got from an order from um, DP with Sparklers. Um, she, uh, Mary works with Tima, and that's why we had some DP with Sparkler drills in our order here. But when I ordered from DP with Sparklers, I got a little mini strawberry kiwi uh, Mary Mud. So you can get these sample sizes from Mary's Etsy shop uh, for just a couple of bucks if you just want to 
sample the quality of the, the putty or the mud, make sure it works for you. Sample the scents to make sure those work for you too. But look, it's like just a little tiny strawberry kiwi piece. So this is still plenty to last you a good long while, but they're about like, I'd say like a quarter of the size maybe of the, um, of the full size. That smells really good. That's my first time opening that. Um, so yeah, if you want to just do a sample size, you can do that as well, just to kind of get a feel for the product and a scent. Um, but yeah, I, I set, I pulled out all of my, uh, Mary mud and yeah, as you can see, we've got a lot going on here. I might have to do a day where I just like do a whip and chat and use a little bit of each one just to kind of like sample the scents. Cause some of these I haven't even opened to smell yet. Um, so I probably should do that. There's one in here that um, is really potent. I don't know if she sells it anymore. Uh, where is it? Um, where is it? I can smell it from here. Like anytime I take it out of the drawer, I'm like, oh my gosh. It is this movie theater popcorn Mary Mud. I don't know if she, she'll be bringing this one back. She might at some point, um, but it is potent. Like whatever that fragrance oil that's used in this, this scent, every time I take it out, I'm like, oh boy. And it's not like it's a bad scent. It's just, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just like really strong. So if you like buttered popcorn, reach out to Mary and see if she'll do another release of that. That one's a really interesting one. Sorry, now we're just going off on a tangent here, but there's another one. This one, buttered croissant Mary mud. This one is got like kind of a bready kind of, it smells like bread, like fresh baked bread. I don't know if I've taken a, no, I haven't taken a piece out of that one yet, but it smells pretty good. Like it's surprising how close a lot of these scents are to what they are labeled as. But anyway, okay. So yeah, single 10, get yourself 10% off. If you decide to swing by over there, check her out. Um, really, really nice quality, um, nice quality mud. I think the one that I have gotten, let's see, there's one that I've, there's a couple that I've used more than, more than others, just because the scent really calls to me. Cozy cashmere, is really nice. And then, um, what else did I say? Oh, pomegranate cider. So you can see, let's see how much I've actually used out of this thing. Oh, I love this scent. It reminds me of, let's see. Yeah, it reminds me of, um, they used to put a scent in a Las Vegas hotel called Aria. They used to pump this kind of like cashmere kind of, um, like, scent to cover up the smell of the smoke and I loved it and this smells a lot like it but yeah so what I'll do is I'll punch it with my single placer and then squish 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 you can see where I kind of had I took a big chunk out for my multi placer and then I squish it back towards in on itself so that way it kind of condenses down um, but they last a good long time which is nice in your in your diamond painting pen so all right well there there we go that was Way longer than I was anticipating this video being, but it's show and tell time, I guess. But anyway, let me know if you have any questions, comments, if you need any clarification on anything. Um, I'll be happy to uh, demo Mary Mud, um, maybe on my next Whip and Chat or something like that. I'll maybe grab a couple and just do a demo of this particular product, but it's really awesome. I, like I said, I'm a putty fiend. I like a lot of different brands, a lot of different companies, and uh, Mary Mud is definitely one of them. So. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. Otherwise, um, happy placing and we'll see you next time. Bye, 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 bye.